In this video, we'll talk about monkeypox virus. Cases of monkeypox virus is spreading all across the world. It has been reported from several countries including United States, United Kingdom, Canada and many more. Most of the cases are from United Kingdom and Portugal. Why it is known as monkeypox? Monkeypox virus was first identified in 1958 from lab monkeys in Denmark. From then, it was called as monkeypox. The first case of human was discovered in Congo in 1970. And from then, there are many other cases which are reported worldwide. This particular virus is an enveloped, double-stranded DNA virus. It belongs to the family of pox viridi. That means it's a close cousin of chickenpox and smallpox virus. Now let's see how this virus can be transmitted. It can be transmitted from animals like monkey, squirrel, dormouse or gambian pouch rat to human via scratches, bites or consuming bushmeat of these particular animals. The natural reservoir for monkeypox has not yet been identified but it is thought that the rodents could be the most likely reservoir for this particular virus. This virus can spread when you touch a body fluid of infected animal or you get scratched by an infected animal. This virus can enter your screen through this kind of cuts or breaches. Human to human transmission occurs when you have droplet. So respiratory droplet is the key source of infection. Other than that, touching body fluids or contaminated objects can also lead to transmission of these viruses. This particular virus can cross placenta. That means it can be transmitted from mother to the newborn. Scientists are still thinking that whether this virus can be transmitted sexually. Among the infected individual worldwide, several people are from the LGBTQ community. That is why CDC is warning and thinking that probably they are more uh, susceptible to these kind of infection. Though this is not clear and more research is required to understand whether it's a sexually transmitted disease or not. Anyway, let's talk about the symptoms of monkeypox. The invasion period lasts between 0 to 5 days. So first, there would be fever, severe headache, and the characteristic feature is lymph adenopathy. That means swelling of your lymph nodes. And this is pretty characteristic of this particular disease. It is not found in chickenpox or smallpox infection. Now, other than that, there could be lack of energy, back pain, muscle pain, which are pretty common. Rashes appear after 1 to 3 days of fever. And most of the rashes are found in the uh, faces and other extremities like sole of your palm, of sole of your foot and palm of your uh, hand. In many cases, rashes are also visible in oral mucosa and in rare cases in genitalia. Question is, how long does this disease last? In most common cases, the disease would last for two to four weeks, but in severe cases, it might last for several months. If you are an immunocompromised individual, the, the outcome might be worse. Now, monkeypox virus can be diagnosed using uh, looking at the clinical symptoms such as rashes, but these are not uh, definitive features of this particular disease. It can be common between other type of pox as well. But lymph adenopathy is pretty characteristic of monkeypox virus and discriminate it from other type of poxes. But the ultimate uh, diagnosis can be done using RT-PCR just like the COVID test. So any kind of virus can be detected using RT-PCR based diagnostic tools. Now there are no current vaccine which is dedicated against this particular virus but the existing smallpox, vi uh, smallpox vaccine is pretty efficient to eradicate this kind of um, infection. So in 2019 CDC has given permission for a new vaccine which is basically a modified attenuated Ankara strain of vaccina virus. So this can be used to prevent the spread of monkeypox. Monkeypox treatment options involve taking antipyretics to reduce the fever, reducing the pain. Also, you can consume enough amount of body fluid such that you are not dehydrated. Taking adequate rest is mandatory. But in case of extreme infection, CDC prescribes several antiviral medications and immunoglobulins for the treatment. Anyway, prevention is better than cure. Monkeypox virus prevention can be done by reducing the risk of contact. 
and it is possible because this is more visual and the individual affected can be isolated very easily and it is unlike covid right so animal to human transmission can be reduced by reducing the contact between animals and humans so reducing the zoonotic transmission is really important especially in developing countries and preventing uh, pre preventing all the uh, animal trades and animal markets could be a good option to prevent the spread so i hope this particular video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support my channel uh by using uh the super like option in youtube which appears just below the video you can get more flashcard notes regarding many biology topics in my facebook page link is provided in the description you can get dynamic flashcard which would help your revision as usual don't forget to like share and subscribe you can take my uh, courses in 